Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm bringing you a new drawing video. This one is going to be Gondar the Bounty Hunter from Dota 2, this mysterious game that nobody's ever heard of. A couple of people have been complaining that I've been drawing too much Dota 2, but, uh, you know, I've had this channel for more than three years, and to be honest, I've never really listened to the occasional whining of people, and so far it has worked out pretty well, so I think I'm going to be drawing kind of whatever the fuck I want, really. So, um, yeah, that's how it's going to work. Sorry, if you don't like it, don't watch it. It's very simple. So, let's get into the bio, after which I will proceed to fill your head with stupid and useless and redundant information, as I usually do in my videos, because I have nothing to talk about except my life, which is sometimes interesting, other times not so much. So, this is the bio for Gondar the Bounty Hunter. When the hunted tell tales of Gondar the Bounty Hunter, none are sure of which are true. In whispered tones, they say he was abandoned as a kit, learning his skill in tracking as a matter of simple survival. Others hear he was an orphan of war, taken in by the great Sorok the Hunter, to learn the master's skill with a blade as they plumbed the dark forests for big game. Still others believe he was a lowly street urchin, raised among a guild of cutpurses and thieves, trained in the arts of stealth and misdirection. Around campfires in the wild countryside, his quarry speaks the rumors of Gondar's work, growing ever more fearful. They say it was he who tracked down the tyrant King Goff years after the Mad Regent went into hiding, delivering his head and scepter as proof that it was he who infiltrated the rebel camps at High Seat, finally bringing the legendary thief White Cape to be judged for his crimes, and that it was he who ended the career of Sorok the Hunter, condemned as a criminal for killing the prince's prized Hellkite. The tales of Gondar's incredible skill stretch on, with each daring feat more unbel unbelievable than the last, each target more elusive. For the right price, the hunted know, anyone can be found. For the right price, even the mightiest may fear... Nope, may find fear in the shadows. <laughs> yes, this is Gondar the Hunter, the Huntard, the Bounty Huntard. This was a two-hour video. Well, the video is probably like five minutes, but the drawing was two hours. Went really quick after my extensive break from drawing, because I haven't actually done a drawing since December 23. That's 20 days. It's really scary how, how fast time flies. Like, I thought it was like about a week or something, but no. It's almost a month. Holy shit. But yeah, I mean, uh, time goes by pretty quick. As I get older, I notice that time just flies by. When I was young, everything was so slow. Everything moves so slowly, and it's like, oh, fuck, and these hours just pass. But nowadays, even stuff like, you know, flying on a plane for eight hours seems to just go by faster. And I'm not even high. That's pretty cool. Of, of course, it's going to get worse as I age, obviously, when the years will just fly by, and then you'll find yourself 60, shitting your pants, and walking with a cane with a crooked back, and life will suck, and you'll probably start doing crazy things, like whipping your dick out on a bus, or, you know, assaulting teenage girls, and then pretending to have Alzheimer's, which, to be quite honest, does sound like kind of fun. You can get away with a lot of shit when you're old. Like, who's going to actually beat up an old man, you know? Going to be like Johnny Knoxville. Just doing uh, stupid shit in my um, my diapers. Anyway, what's been happening? Not much. I'm still getting ready to leave. I got uh, eight days. Well, to be honest, I got a week left here because I'm leaving on Monday. Next Monday, obviously. Uh, which is going to be... I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling. It feels like I haven't actually been here for that long, but it's been half a year, you know. it's Again, it just seems like time flies. Like, this was just a small fragment in my life that just just went. But, um, yeah, I don't know where I am right now. I might be uh, having low blood sugar or something. Just talking a lot of stupid crap. But uh, I'm kind of hyped to go back home because... You know, I, I like uh, I like my house. I mean, I hate my house, but I like my place. It's mine. You know how it feels when you're when you're living in someone else's uh, environment, and you don't feel like you have any control over what goes where, and you know stuff like that. It's uh, it's better when I have my environment. But um, yeah, it's been good. 
I got to enjoy the uh, the benefits of American life, other than gaining a massive amount of weight, which of course is is kind of uh, inevitable when you're passionate about food as I am. Um, but you know, it's always nice coming back to America and and tasting the forbidden fruit that are not allowed to to be tasted by Eastern Europeans, such as the convenience of having things delivered to you. After two days after you order them, like back home when you order something internationally, it takes like two weeks and you never know where your package is. You never know if it got lost, stolen. You can never have a tracking number because why would we ever want to unify the postal system? Let's just keep it separate everywhere and, you know, order order things and then get them lost and wait for two months and have no idea what happened to them and then have to order them again. That sounds like a plan. But yeah, I mean, uh, what you going to do? Life goes on, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be working out, getting back into shape, because looking at myself in the mirror, I hate being fat. I hate it. Even though I love food, I hate being fat. Food is delicious, but the consequence of eating is, uh, is of course, well known by many of us who are probably overweight of course, obese by American standards, because Americans are ridiculous like that, and you're like five pounds overweight, you're morbidly obese all of a sudden, and you find yourself as a statistic, which is equally ridiculous. So yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, I'm just kind of waiting it out right now, you know, watching Weeds, uh, the series, and just doing my work. It's been a good beginning of the year, though, I gotta say, I got a couple of uh, really big, fat, juicy projects, um, People coming to me with uh, rebranding and, uh, you know, everyone wants to rebrand and have a fresh start in 2014, including a lot of streamers and YouTubers. So I'm getting orders left and right for drawings and logos and whatnot. So I'm happy. I mean, I'm, I'm making good money, so can't complain so far. But, uh, you know, I'm like halfway through the first month already. And it's like it was yesterday that New Year struck and we were in 2014. And I was like, oh, just... Just a month is gone, almost. So, yeah, it's weird. Need to uh, need to get doing, and not talk as much. Less talking, more doing. Before you run out of time, I guess I'm uh, reflective about uh, the passing of time or some savage shit. Yeah, just filling uh, filling my five minute quota here with whatever comes to mind, train of thought, and all that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop now before I. Get all philosophical and nostalgic and whatnot, so nobody wants to hear that shit, I bet. So, thank you for watching. Please rate that shit if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go eat some White Castles now because those mini burgers are just so fucking good. I am absolutely addicted to them. I must have eaten like 300 of those by now. They're so good. Fuck North Carolina for not having White Castle. I have to buy them frozen and actually heat them up in the microwave. But when I went to Ohio, there was this 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 divine feeling about getting... You know, 10 fresh little White Castles and just shoving them in my mouth in a, in a gross manner. It was just like orgasmic, if you will. So, I'll leave it here before things get weird. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Rate that shit. Enjoy it. You know the drill. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>